Hey guys, how's it going? I hope you're all doing great. Uh, today I wanna to share with you the first photos and videos I've captured using my brand new travel camera, the Fujifilm X-E4. If you tuned in last week, I made a video here in the studio doing like my first impressions of the camera, like going over the button layout, the kind of feel in my hand. But I figured a video would be a bit more valuable to you of me actually out using the camera. So I took the camera along with the 18 to 55 millimeter down to the beach and I took some photos and videos to really test it out. And guys, before we jump into the video, it would be great if you gave this video a like or even consider subscribing. We are out at the beach and Brett is on <laughs> the video. Um, we're gonna test out the stills first. I'm gonna walk around, see what kind of frames I can get. Looking through the EVF already, the colors are pretty mad. So that's one thing that's already stood out to me, but Brett's getting the hang of the Sony. So if the footage is wobbly, like, that's all him. <laughs> Today I'm shooting on the 18-55, to this is the kit lens. I left the 23 at home because I figured this would be a really good way to start. I'm going to try get a shot of him kind of strolling in. It's pretty handy now that I got this zoom, but uh, he isn't actually walking in just yet. This uh, XE4 has the same sensor as a lot of the higher end Fujifilm cameras. It's a 26 megapixel sensor. And to be honest, like if you're pixel counting and looking at things like that, you're not gonna have a problem with a camera like this. All of the shots I'm getting so far look incredible on the back of the screen. Um, so the fact that you can get this kind of sensor at a price point like this is pretty awesome. So this is take two of surfers walking in if they uh, head in could get a nice shot here the fact that this camera is so easy to hold with the thumb grip is massive when actually out shooting I wasn't sure if it was going to become a major thing but Ergonomic wise, I think I'd be a bit of a challenge without the thumb grip. This little combo of the 18-55 and the XE4 body fits really nice in the hand. Weight wise and form wise, it feels really good. I uh, honestly kind of want this when it comes to a travel camera. I'm sure many of you would agree, but having something that's clunky and something that you don't want to bring with you is always going to be a problem. So this setup is really nice. Um, I am eager to try out the 23 mil, but for now this is doing really good. <laughs> One of the bigger reasons why I picked up this camera is also for the video. So before picking up this, I obviously shot with my X100F and that was pretty trash at video, but it wasn't meant to be that kind of camera. Whereas this is a bit more of a hybrid setup. And to be honest, like I'm really impressed with it. It shoots 4K 25 in 8-bit. You can externally record 10-bit, but I doubt you'd ever want to do that. But for this kind of run and gun, traveling, walking around with your friends, taking videos on this is pretty epic. And part of that with this lens, because the fact that the body has no ibis, um, you'd have a bit shaky footage, a lot of shaky cam like Brett's today, um, if you were to use another, <laughs> another kind of lens. So using the kit lens, which is actually a really affordable option, was a, uh, you know, a really good thing for shooting video. Get a shot of someone hopping out. <laughs> Shame it's a sup though. So something that I think is really great about this camera is the fact that you can shoot really great photos and really great video. Um, initially, I was a bit worried with the lack of buttons that I wouldn't be able to swap between the two as easy as I would usually. 
but um, I'm not finding it too much of an issue. I'm sure there's a way you can customize it to set it up, but right now, going through the drive menu it hasn't been much of a problem, so that's a really big positive of something I was a bit worried about. If you are someone who is worried about the camera's performance in low light, um, the sun has pretty much set here and it's super dark and I'm shooting at ISO 5000 and kind of around that mark and the images on the back of the camera are looking great. Once I get them into uh, Lightroom, I can actually see, but to be honest, like if you weren't hoping to push it into like 10,000, which you never usually would with cameras like these, the low light performance is doing really good so far. So the sunset has just set and it's pretty cloudy, the light's pretty shit. Um, there's not much more we can do, but overall, impressions uh, on my first day shooting with this camera is I pretty much love it. Um, it's still early days, I still need to kind of work out and set up some custom settings to make it best for me, but if you are looking for like a small travel camera um, and the X100V isn't appealing to you because you want to, you know, experiment with lenses, kind of like I do, um, and not be limited, uh, this is a really good option. Again, this is my first day, so I'm not going to say go out and buy it. I plan to do a lot more videos on it um, and when I go traveling. So yeah, that was my first day with it. I hope you enjoyed. Be sure to give this video a like. Thank you, Brett, for uh, holding the camera straight. And uh, yeah, if you wouldn't mind subscribing and joining this community we're building, that'd be great. So uh, I'll see you in the next video. I need to invest in a strap like the Peak Design ones because can't freaking keep doing this all the time. We tried to take a good thumbnail, pretty shit light, can't lie. And Brett's been very good on the camera. So I say that, <laughs> chill out. <laughs>